Uh, let's see. Fine folks at the state of Ranton. Is that what this stream is? Salt-free Friday with a side of spaghetti. It's true. There will definitely be spaghetti. Uh, that was fun. Too bad you suck at guessing. Yeah, but you were the best drawer by far, Madman. So, you know, <laughs> you got to show off your artistic skills. And that was pretty awesome. So uh, We did get the win on that one. What was it? Zolt not Zoltan A. Zoltan A is what killed our streak. Uh, Zoltan B, I guess it was, that I was ready to freaking quit. But we don't have to worry about that today because we have some satisfactory. And the first thing I'm going to show you all is I worked some, st off, some stuff off, off stream last night. I didn't do much, but what I did do is scan a lot of hard drives, a lot of hard drives to get one very specific recipe, and I did get it last night. So uh, let me look at, I don't think I care about either of those. I have a lot of recipes I can choose from here. So I don't know, what I might do eventually is once I have people who are more experienced in the game, go through the recipes I currently have available and say, hey, which one of these should I keep? Which ones are useful? Because uh, the one that I wanted the most and the one I did get last night was Let me uh, Look right here. I think I put it in here sloppy aluminum Because uh, our goal today is aluminum. This is the original aluminum uh, Solution 120 bauxite 180 water makes 120 aluminum solution and 50 silica and sloppy aluminum is 200 bauxite, 200 water, just go straight to the aluminum solution, aluminum solution, and I don't need uh, the silica. I don't think I need the silicon. Uh, you saw a thing about using wet concrete to balance the aluminum water waste. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I guess one of the interesting things is, so that creates the alumina solution. From the alumina solution, you make... Aluminum scrap, which requires coal, has a byproduct of water. I have it on another one that uses a petroleum coke. Um, water and aluminum. What's the difference there? You get a lot more aluminum scrap, I think, with this one. So I'll need coal for it. Why is it sloppy? That's the main question. I have no idea why it's called sloppy. <laughs> I know if I had British, it'd be aluminium. They say aluminium. Um, so the, the problem is, though, I think if I do the sloppy aluminum, my way of... Um, uh, smelting the aluminum. I think I only have one smelting right now. I don't think there's any foundry for smelting aluminum, is there? No, there is, but it requires silica. Do I, is there not a different, is there not a different recipe for aluminum? Is there like a pure aluminum or anything like that? Pure aluminum ingots. I feel like maybe I'm still missing some part of this because I thought there was a recipe that didn't require uh, that didn't require silicon. Direct the water to the fountains for the worker use. Let their bodies become filters for the sadist factory. Okay, I'll think about it. <laughs> uh, I wonder if there are other aluminum ingot alternate recipes. Let me actually look it up. Uh, satisfactory aluminum ingots. Let me see if I'm missing another alternate recipe, recipe to make aluminum better. There is a pure aluminum ingot that needs... Just scrap. It's just scrap in a smelter. That is that is actually what I want. I think that's what I actually want, so I don't have to have the silica part of all this. So I think what I need to do, and it looks like it's kind of like what I did before. Uh, I just I, I did get some extra hard drives last night. I got five more. So I need to get pure aluminum ingots, I think, and that will be, that will be the aluminum process I actually want. Uh, the aluminum water waste balance using wet concrete. So the the first thing we need to do today is figure out what the uh, the what the recipe is going to be because aluminum is pretty complicated. You need bauxite, you need water, and creates aluminum solu alumina solution. You then use that alumina solution to make aluminum scrap, which has a byproduct of water. I think one thing I did 
was I tried to balance it so that the water we use in the sloppy aluminum is supplied by the overflow of this with a little extra. And I tried to use, um, I used a, what is it called? Like, what's the thing off for pipes? Uh, filter or a, a valve to control the amount of water. That's what I think I did in the past. Pretty, uh, it's pretty difficult to balance this, to be honest. And I also need coal. Is there any coal nearby? Uh, yeah, we got coal down here. Got a couple of normal purity coals. So 120 coal per minute for that. 200 bauxite per minute. So I have a single bauxite pure guy here. And what I want to do is I want to set this up. Uh, once we get aluminum going, I can get tier 5 belts. Because uh, I currently have tier 4 belts at max. If I have tier 5 belts, I think those go up to 600 a minute. Which is what that would do. But um, I can't do that yet. But that's what I want to plan around is the 600 per minute. Alright. So, if I plan around 600 per minute bauxite incoming, how many refineries is that? 200, so I can only do three of these guys, strangely enough. Um, I have more bauxite further away if I need it. I have a pure down there. So three of these guys. Okay, I think what I want to do is have three from one side. So these three here will be the bauxite plus water. Copy, paste, paste. That'll give us 240. Um, this input or output on the back, on the front here. This is the input, isn't it? Yeah, that's the input. So I'd be inputting water and bauxite, and I'd be outputting alumina solution. So I think I need to turn this whole thing around here. Uh, because I'd have the, bot, the Illumina Solution go into there and then go into here with coal to create aluminum scrap with some output of water. So I think my original build here is just not going to actually work here. Uh, but I can alter this build and I think make it work here. Because we're going to be outputting just... Alumina solution directly into the pipes here. Let me get that set up. How much a minute? 240 per minute. These are definitely going to need to be tier 2 pipes underneath here. Um, pipeline mark 2. What I might do actually is, hold on a second, 240 per minute. How much is the input? Oh gosh, my inventory is full. Uh, oopsie, just delete some things. I have too much junk. <laughs> too much junk in my inventory. Too much junk in the chunk, trunk chat. You know how that is, right? You know how that is. Take all, take all. Oh gosh, uh, direct, uh, let's see, a worker might achieve the great blessing from the Holy Master by making others accountable to performing the utmost excellence for the glory of Rand and also by sacrificing one's life in the name of the sacred chains. The great blessing will be bestowed upon the lives of the workers immediately, workers' immediate family, but shall not extend to further generations. Okay, that's very useful information. <laughs> uh, so this is going to have an input of bauxite, but no actual output here. I think... I think I didn't even need any of these. I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm deconstructing most of this build. Most of this blueprint that I started here. It's so awkward. Um, aluminum is always such an awkward build.
Because what I think I want to do is maybe have this pipe of Illumina Solution output directly to the processing of it. Uh, maybe. We're going to see here. <laughs> I think that's lined up. Uh, I think it might be this way. 240 a minute is what we need, and that's what we're producing. Okay, so this is like a one-to-one -one ratio here. So, like, I don't even need this pipe here, actually. I only need a Mark 1 pipe, because that can do 300 a minute. Go directly from there to there. Uh, although the problem with this is, if I want to deliver coal on this as well, that's going to get in the way. So, hmm. Um... I don't really have a normal build for this, to be honest. If I were to do that, I think headlift wouldn't be an issue, and this would give me room to move splitters through here. Finally, time for the factory to grow. It is. It is time for the factory to grow. Um... Finally, time for the factory to have aluminum is really what it is. But I think I'd want to do something like that. So it goes directly from bauxite and water, 240 solution per minute. For the input of 240 solution per minute, with coal, will give us aluminum scrap and a side product of water. Now, figuring out the water is going to be the problem. But I'm completely... I don't even know if it's worth putting up this blueprint, but it's fine. I knew aluminum was going to be awkward, because it always is, and I have all these... I just have no space here. Uh, move stuff over here. This is my bonus storage right now. Stop dropping junk on the ground, please. Please, game. I think you can, like, disable these crates or something. Um... So, this guy. Matches up there. And then one more. Right there. What's up, pie boy? You see you're back. No, you're not back. You never left. Okay, okay. You never left. I totally, I totally believe you. Well, happy Friday to you, whether you were here or not. A wizard is never late, he reminds precisely when he means to. <laughs> uh, workers' kidneys make proper water filtration systems. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Is... This should allow me to set this up the way I want to. Apparently there are only four space elevator elevator phases. You thought there would be an even five. You mean an uneven five? Okay, so that should be good. Should be 240 aluminum outs. Uh, solution out. 240 alumina solution in plus cult. So that should be good. What the hell? Place it right there, please. There. Uh, although I didn't fix uh, this, this. That back in there. That back in there. High profile pie in the sky hopes. And a pie in the sky emote, that's right. 
All right, so that's what that'll be. And then we need input of coal, which will be coming from... Probably from this direction, I'm guessing. Uh, bauxite will be coming in that direction. Coal will be coming in probably this direction. So, splitter. There. 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 And it'll be coming in at 120 a minute. Yes, yeah, so that'll be a tier, tier 2 belt. Inputting. 120 a minute. 120 times 3 is 360. So we need a Mark IV belt feeding these guys. Uh, you need to upload some emotes out of the Discord at some point. Rand Discord, that is. Uh, what emotes? Emotes for, for my stream? Or what? Okay, so that will be coal input there. The water is going to be the biggest pain, because water... Uh, The amount of water is going to be interesting, I think. Because the water is going to be input on the back side of this guy. 200 a minute times 3. So, 300 a minute water will be needed for these guys. And then there's going to be output of water over here. Because what happens is if this water gets backed up, then our aluminum solution stops being produced. So... Creating wet cement is what somebody said about bleeding off that water. But what I had done in the past was I valved the water such that I was receiving enough water slowly here to slowly ramp this up. But the water output here was never backed up. That's what I think I had done in the past. That was Gunther's idea about sinking the water. Probably easy to sink the water for concrete. Do I have any limestone around here? I claim that limestone. I don't really have any limestone close by unless there's some somewhere else that I don't know about. Because the problem is you can't actually sink water. You could probably... Yeah, it's marking all ones I've already seen. Some over here. You could probably package the water and then sink it. But to package water, you need to make packaging. Which is this an extra step I don't want to mess with. Uh, you had a request on my Discord for some of the more of the emotes to go into Discord. Ah, okay. That must have been a while ago. I don't remember that. <laughs> also, I'm terrible about checking Discord, so maybe I don't even know about that. I think what I do want to do is what I've done in the past, and that is the output of the water for this goes into the input of the water of this and gets recycled, and I gate the original input of the water so that uh, this water is never backed up. So, the way to do that would be we output the water into here. This is definitely going to need to be... How much water will it be? 120 times 3. 360. It's going to be plenty of water. So we need mark 2 pipes for sure. One pipe out. It's 120 out. Yes, 120 out. This thing is there. 
probably gonna hold thing. Okay. So that would be the output of the water. Which I can extend this eventually if I need to, but um this output will be brought around to the input of the water on the back of this side. Is the plan. Which this needs 200 times 3. This needs 600 water. So, I need to upgrade all of these pipes. The tier 2 pipes. 2, 2, 2, 2. Um, looks like I'm going to get rid of that. Probably shouldn't have done that because that might mean this is disconnected now. I'm going to hope that's connected. If it's not, I'll fix it later. Um, so, the first thing we do is we bring the output of the water around over here. Man, it has been a while since I've done an aluminum build for this. Okay. Been since the last time I did a playthrough of this game that I've done aluminum for this, to be honest. Something is shining around me, I hear it. What is what is the shiny sound? Is there a slug or something around here? There's a summer sloop right over here, probably guarded by spiders. No spiders? Cool. Alright. Funny thing, you can upload animated emotes to Rand's Discord, but you can't post them because you don't have Nitro. I don't know what Nitro is. Is that like the upgraded Discord thing? Because I definitely don't have that either. You have to have Nitro to post animated gifts or something. Nitroglycerin, yeah, I'm sure that's what I always saw there. I'm sure that's what it is. There. Um, and there. So this will be, it's kind of weird, but this is a loop back. Water goes in. Alumina solution goes through, and then we have a byproduct of water that will flow back into the input. Now, how do we introduce water into this system? We pump it up here, and we valve the input of the water. That's what I'm going to attempt to do here in a way that will balance the water and not... Um, make it so that we have a... A backup. Don't want things to. We don't want it to back up. So I'm going to have water go into here. Um, I'm gonna have a buffer here. Right in the middle to about right there. there go. And I'm going to valve this water eventually, is what I'm going to do. Uh, I should probably do a Mark II valve. Mark II pipe, even though I'm going to valve it. Because I think what will happen is if I valve this... I have to I have to figure out the math on this because basically once this is up full and running, that's when we set the valve. We only we want one twenty times three. Three hundred sixty water a minute is going to be flowing through here, but this all and this needs two hundred times three six hundred, so this needs six hundred water a minute. 
So we only want 240 a minute to come through this valve. I think. I think that'll make that, once this is fully spun up, we will never have more water coming in than we need to, I think. Uh, it's really easy to add those emotes to Discord. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, we just need somebody who has nitro, I guess, to actually do it, huh? Um, the thing is that maybe we don't want to do this until... Uh, until this thing is fully saturated, but it'll just slowly pick up, and I think that's okay. All right, so I think I think that valving will work, and that will output 360 times three, 1080 aluminum scrap a minute, which we are going to want to do the pure, pure aluminum build, which I would like to unlock now. <laughs> streamer luck, baby, streamer, streamer luck. Exactly what I want right there. There we go. So now I have the full uh, better process for aluminum here. We just unlock it when I want it. I gotta say, this whole um, leaving stuff in the hard drive library so that you can find exactly what you want is really a convenient and a cool thing that I didn't know was a thing. Okay, so I need water pumped up to this guy. Uh, at 600 a minute, even though that's not what we'll be uh, actually using once this is fully spun up. So 120 times 3 is 320. Um, if I want 600 divided by 120, what is that? So we need five of these guys. Four. And get one more somewhere in here without having to. Without having to overclock. I'm trying to avoid overclocking if I can. I might just have to overclock, to be honest. Unless I can. Can you move away? Go away. No offense, but you bother me. We're right there. Okay, and if I turn this one around to face this guy... We'll have enough room for a fifth one. Beautiful. This will work. This will work. So that is five water extractors. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, which will be exactly 600 water. Which I won't, ex I won't need 600 water eventually. You now have a file on your computer called randhumantrash.gif. <laughs> how I feel. I mean, you know, no offense or anything, but human trash is... Just how I feel. Just how I feel. Uh, I think I want to turn this one, actually. Can I, can I do that? You know how I feel. There's like a... Yeah. There's a... Old crooner song that I think Michael Buble has done. Uh, as you know how I feel, or something like that. That's, that's that's me. That's me about human trash, I guess. I forget what that song is called, though, to be honest. This. Um. See if I can line this up fairly straight here. that. About like that. Yeah, so the water 
head that way. All right, so that'll be 600 water a minute. What I'll probably do is unvalve this as things kick on and then valve it as everything's going. Because once the um, once all three machines are going, we need we will need less water. <laughs> and I'll need to valve it. So uh, and actually valving it from the beginning might be fine. I think maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Alright. Mark two pipe. Bring it over here. Uh, actually, let's do it this way first. Horizontal, vertical. Scroll wheel is so screwed up. Okay, that looks pretty good, actually. Go with that. Plug that there. And we need a Mark II pump, 100%. Go all the way up there. Beautiful. Um, before I turn all this on, I need to get bauxite delivered, and I will need to get coal. I want I want to introduce the water last because of the whole if you screw up the water amounts things get all funky. I want to do that last. So let's get the input of bauxite set up, which 200 per minute, 200 per minute. I need actually 600 per minute for this, which is going to be a tier three belt, which I won't have until I have the aluminum sheets unlocked or the aluminum tier five belts unlocked, which is like the next thing I'm going to do after I finish this, after I get the aluminum. Oh, tier 6 belts. Tier tier 5 belts. Start with tier 4 that we will upgrade to tier 6, tier 5 as soon as we get them. Man, why do I have so much junk? I, you know what I'm going to do? I have... I have more inventory slots in my hard drive library I haven't taken advantage of. I'm just going to grab this. I need some slots right now. That. I'll get another hard drive scan in there. That will hopefully make me stop running out of space here. I need some encased in industrial beams. There we go. Uh, water last so as to maximize work efficiency before possible extermination of labor force there is no extermination i i know you think i am evil i i have no plans of exterminating anybody what did i set up here this was set up to be the coal yes this is the coal and this is the uh bauxite i don't know who who who, who told you i was exterminating people I might have to exterminate them. Not that I would ever do such a thing. But I just need to know from my own knowledge. Not that I, I would... Of course, I would never. I would, I would I would never. But I need to know. Alright, this should be good to input. Box right there. Um, may as well add the uh, missile to the Discord too. Yeah, add Add whatever you like. Add all the emotes you can. I'm sure somebody will get use out of them. Okay, we're bringing this over from over here. Holy Master is just not evil. That's right. If anybody said I was evil, they're spreading rebel... Propaganda. I'm actually going to just upgrade this to 600 minute now. Uh, and once I get the tier 5 belt, it'll, it'll do its thing. 
Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and power these, even though I don't have all the inputs set up. So that it'll be ready for its first... Cycle. But again, I'm introducing the water last because the water is the most likely to cause a, the most likely thing to cause backup. So, okay. but this will fill up with bauxite, which is what I want to have happen. Very good. All of these guys are receiving the bauxites. Very nice. Okay. Um, with 39 more slots for normal emotes, you will add anything good that's appropriate to the channel. Thanks, bye boy. I'm glad you're doing that. I'm glad you take care of my Discord that I never use. <laughs> you need aluminum before I upgrade to Mark III miners. I think so. Uh, I know I need aluminum before I upgrade to Mark V belts. There's the logistics upgrade. I might actually be able to do the logistics upgrade right now with the casings I have, and or casings or sheets. Uh, but I'm holding off on doing that until I actually get my... Actually... I want to be able to make the aluminum casings. So I need to get aluminum before I do the next unlock. Alright, so I need coal. This needs the alumina solution, which is will happen once I introduce water. And I need coal. Why do you not have power? I just plugged you in. What the hell did that just do? That did give it power. Okay, for a second there, I thought that did not plug in. And these guys... There we go. Alright, so these guys all got, got power now. Now I need to bring coal at... 360 a minute. Got two normals down there, which will be a tier 4 belt we'll need to bring. So... That direction somewhere is where I'll be bringing the call from. So let's go get some coal. Not far from here. I hope it's not far. I hope it's not really far, like, underground. God, I'm not seeing it right here. Probably really far underground. Uh, let me get a power line. Do I have a... Just, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I don't want to worry about doing a long distance power line right now. There it is. Right there, actually. Okay. Well, not too far, thankfully. Okay, any animal's gonna attack me for getting this. I'm used to being attacked when I find resources I want. Tier 2 miner. I don't have my miner thing. Do I have. Did I ever put miners in here? No, I didn't. Okay. Mm. Which one is it? I always get mixed up. It's this one. Uh, nope, wrong one. This one. Two of these guys. Uh, laborers should feel the utmost pride and honor to become any higher mark miner or higher mark servant of the something master or else. Okay. Three sixty a minute, which is the fully upgraded version of this, isn't it? No, it's not even enough. Okay, well then, um, let me go get this other one. We'll combine them because if I can't even get as enough from one, then I might as well just overclock once for two, and one hundred eighty times two will be the three sixty I need. This. 
It's over this way somewhere. Oh, I don't need to do this. I see a long range power pole over here, which means I have power closer by. Very nice. There it is. And there's some power. Beautiful. Good job, past ran. So useful. Is the aluminum train already set up? Uh, no. I actually need to set up the aluminum train. I started the aluminum station at my base. So I have the unloading station started. I don't have the actual aluminum train. Wow, you're just coming right at me. I'll explode you. No, no, apparently. Come, come to me. Walk over the explosion I set up. Okay, now he's standing there like he's confused. Like, why did I explode? I'll show you why. That's why. Because you bother me. Go away, son. You bother me. Two more miners. Okay, mark two minor. Every single one of these should get me the 180. 180 times two is the 360 we need. Very nice. I'll do a tier three belt to bring this over to the other miner. Combine them both for one tier four belt for what we need. somewhere. Nope, I went the wrong way over this way. Okay. Take it basically up north there. Follow the stream up, I guess. Follow the stream. Merger. Just heard my, uh... Call it. My ma'am finish. Okay, a little awkward. That's fine. There we go. 280 belts per minute. Be 360 with a tier 4 belt bringing it to our something there. That's a yellow slug, huh? To our aluminum production is the word I'm trying to say. Whoa, that explosion actually looked really good. <laughs> Most of these explosions when they go off. Caused my entire computer to like frame rate to die and then and, and the explosion just looks all funky. So maybe they actually fix the explosion finally. Uh the pet train is always ready to quash. The pain train is always ready to quash revolutionary ideas that would oppose the Holy Master. Yes. What about the pet train? Pet train sounds like something some people would like. The invalid placement. Oh, that thing of copper there is in the way. Okay, where am I bringing this? I'm bringing this over here.
There we go. There is our 360 coal per minute. Coal train per minute. And is that all set up? Let's see. Looks good. Looks good. And then the output of this will be the water output, which I set up to cycle back in, and then a lot of scrap. 360 aluminum scrap per minute. So we need a smelting facility now. So... The smelting facility will lead to the train station that will load up the aluminum. So my train loop is out that way, so I probably want my smelting to be like right over there. Um, what I will say is 360 per minute is... A tier 4 belt. Each one of these guys is going to be a tier 4 belt pretty much of output. Uh, man, I can't wait till I get the tier 4 belts. This will help with all of this output. So probably what I'll do is I'll do the smelting right out here and then a station a little bit further out there. So let's figure out the smelting. I want this... I want what I just built to be expandable that way as I get better belts and things. So for now, I'm going to build a platform out here that's going to lead to my smelting setup. Let's go this way a bit, and then this will be our smelting setup. And I think... Uh, I don't want to be in the middle of these wires. I think I can use a, um... I think I can use my smelting, my, uh, whatchamacallit, my iron smelting here. How's this set up? Yeah, we can use this setup right here, actually. And we'll just have to figure out how many of these we need to do. How many of these do we need to do? Pure aluminum ingots. 60. So each one of these are 60. So... Um, 60 times 4, 60 times 4, That's what, 360, 240, so I'm going to have 360 times 3, 1080, 1080 divided by 60, divided by would help. Uh, 1080 divided by 60. I need 18 of these. It's kind of an awkward number. Do four and then two extras. One, two... four and two extra smelters is what I need to do let's do one more block on the side and I can deconstruct ah crap I didn't line that up correctly good job me good job Near past Rand. How did I mess that up? There. And one more. And I delete these two on the ends here.
Probably didn't need to do that, but it's fine. Don't want to waste materials. Uh, speaking of materials, uh, is my inventory still freaking full? It is. I just built all that stuff. Take from inventory before depot. No wonder. I must have unclicked this at some point. And it's it's now it's, it was never taken from my inventory. My inventory is always filling up. Okay. We're about to have aluminum for days. For days, I tell you, for days. Go, Jerry, let's go. There we go. And now we plug these guys in. And we'll just have to set up the station for the aluminum. And then, after the station's set up, we can actually build a factory and turn this aluminum into the sheets we need. Because uh, once we have the aluminum into the sheets we need, then we can... Um, actually unlock the next level of a bunch of stuff. Aluminum is what I need for most of the upgrades I don't currently have. Okay, so I'm gonna have three... Uh, how do I how do I balance these things out here? 360 times three. There's still something shiny right below me. What is... What am I hearing? Slug... Follow the shiny sound. Ah, there's just a Mercer Sphere just here. Wow, okay, nice. Convenience. I'll take it. Okay. Alright, so 360 times 3, and I have a belt that can carry 480. So... I think even uh, a tier 5 belt is 600 a minute, so 360 times 3 would over overwhelm that. What is 360 times 3? 1080 divided by 480. Yeah, I still, I just have to do three different belts. I, it's crazy. I can't actually, I don't have enough belts to, or fast enough belts to move this without the tier 4 belt. It's kind of crazy. So let's do one guy in the middle here. Guy to the side here. And there we go. So we got three aluminum scrap outputs there. It's a real chicken and egg scenario. Yes, dot 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 profit. Yes, because once we have uh, the aluminum, then we can unlock all the other things we need. Uh, do the middle one first so I can keep these lined up in a way that looks at least kind of pretty, I guess. Aluminum's huge, though. Once I, once I get all the aluminum stuff set up, we're going to be in such better shape for unlocking so many very good late game stuff. I feel like we're finally getting into like the early late game or the late mid game is what I what I feel like we're at now. All right, now I got to I got to figure out how to Oh gosh. Really? Um evenly distribute this. Oh crap, I didn't uh I didn't copy paste all these. Let me do that right now before I forget, because that'll screw things up if I don't do that. These are set. A bunch of these are set for iron. Aluminum. Aluminum. Iron. Okay, right here.
All right, it really bothers me that the textures don't load. Um, I think one of the um, the distance belt distance um, render distance being near, I think helped with my FPS a lot. So where are texture qualities? This texture quality, I want that to be higher. I hate when it, my textures all get all funky. Is that, will that fix this? I don't know if that's texture quality or what, but this, I don't like my foundations not looking right. And apparently texture quality didn't fix that. Anybody know what the setting is that makes this go out of focus? This is way better than our Timu factory, yes. Anybody know what that setting is that makes your textures just go out of focus sometimes? Um, or lower the quality? Foliage, VFX, light, view, cloud, motion, upscaling, screen percentage, conveyor belt, render distance. I have no idea. I have no idea what the setting... Okay, I'm gonna look this up because nobody in chat's telling me. I don't know if anybody in chat knows. Satisfactory setting for foundation blurring. What causes blurry textures? Uh, you tried every setting... Anyone have any issues? Resolved. GeForce Experience recommended settings. Let's see. GeForce Experience moved the slider lowest possible settings. Uh, I don't know. The model isn't being rendered properly. Check your hardware requirements and tune your settings accordingly. This, so this is like a freaking graphics card issue? Oh my god. That's a graphics card issue. Well, I don't want to mess with that right now. So, if anybody knows a better answer to that question, let me know. Because, like, this is right, and these are all not loading correctly, and it's really annoying. All right, so, uh, 360 divided by 60. So, I can do each one of these belts can supply six. Gotta love NVIDIA. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know if it's NVIDIA's fault, but do other graphics cards not have this issue? I don't know. Maybe not. Alright, so I'm going to... guess just do a split over here. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. This will supply six right here. I mean, if you blame NVIDIA, are there not other graphics cards that have similar issues? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. So, actually, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to get rid of this. I think I've actually heard that... Um, one of the hardest parts of PC development is that you have to, as a PC developer... Actually, I'm not change this. You have to develop your game in such a way that it'll work with infinite different number of setups, and that's why console development is way easier than PC development. I don't know how true that is, but it sounds plausible. That sounds realistic to me that, like, Developing for PC is just a much bigger pain because you are constantly having to account for so many different types of video cards, processor speeds, like just so many different things. I'm no developer though, so I don't know how true that is. It just sounds like something that makes sense. 
through consoles and their prices, though, I agree. I mean, I don't want... I, I prefer, obviously, uh, PC gaming to console gaming, but... Okay, so 30 times... How many of these did I do? 1080... 5 by 60. I did 18. So 18 times 30. We will have 540... Of this stuff per minute. 540 divided by 2. That's actually 2 tier 3 belt worth of output. Though, there, so. I'm not, you know, saying console better. But I am saying that from what I understand, console's easier to develop for. And that's probably why some, like, developers only will only develop for consoles or something. Two, four, six, eight. Uh, nine, actually. If I want to split these in half, there's 18. I think I need to do nine of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so I want there to be two mergers here. This is those over there. And then this will be for these over here. Something like that. Alright, and then I'm going to set up a train station over here. Uh, do I want to get the aluminum started? The issue is if aluminum... One of the problems with the water setup I have is if my aluminum ever backs up, is my water going to get backed up? And that might be why it's better to sink the water into concrete than it is to do this rotating system. But what I can do, actually, I can sink the aluminum. If I don't want to do a whole setup just to make a bunch of concrete, I can, su uh, I can sink excess aluminum, which is what I will do. That's what I'll do. Um... So let me get the output set up here. I could package water and sink that, and I mentioned that earlier, Gunther. The problem with that is then I'd have to make packaging. And that's just kind of a pain. Having to set up packaging just for sinking this stuff. But I could. Definitely could do that. I just don't want to do that if I can avoid it. This will be the output here. Of one set of these guys. Be a full tier three belt. About 270 a minute. Okay, I don't need that. That'll be 270 a minute there. Two hundred and seventy a minute there. And the middle. So I have my two belts here, splitting the difference. Two overflow guys going to a uh, a uh, what you call it? Awesome sink. Right here. other it's fine it's fine oh, I'll line you up with this guy 
Yeah. And then I do up thing like this. A merger. This. Change that. Is that a merger? God damn it. Splitter. will be delivered to a train station that will be over here somewhere. I just don't want to set up the train station first. Since I have the sinking done, I think I can start the smelting. With the sinking done, this should mean that nothing else should get all messed up, I think. Are you out? Do you have power? You have power. The sinking is good to go. I have 60 tickets ready to go. So I think I can start the smelting process, which means turning on the water, basically. So I think we have everything except the water over here. Yeah, you're just missing aluminum, uh, alumina solution, and you're just missing water to make the alumina solution. So, let's kick on the water and see if this is all correct or not. Power down here is what I need. go kick these all on at the same time and that should start bringing us some water uh, although I have to set up the pump actually there okay how's my power looking while I'm over here holy crap my gray line is jumping up and down I think that means my fuel generators are not are receiving fuel at an inconsistent rate, which means we're using up all our turbo fuel finally, which is a good and bad thing, but mainly a good thing. Because before we weren't using up our fuel fast enough, it was backing up and stopping our plastic and rubber production, I believe. Are right, you getting water? All right, it should flow at 240 a minute as things start picking up here. All right, let's see if it'll actually stop it at 240 like it's supposed to. And you know what? I should have set up another valve here. Which can go at 600 minute is fine. I don't want it going this way, and it was going in there. The water was actually going there, which I did not want. 240 a minute. These guys should start getting some water soon and kick on. Do your thing. Come on, come on. Beautiful. And are you going to get your alumina solution? Yes, you are. Okay. Make sure this is all kicking on before I leave and work on other stuff. What's up, Grima? Weekend hype. That's right. Weekend hype. Beautiful, our first aluminum scrap. It's beautiful. Now I'm probably gonna have to come back and check to make sure the water's all doing what it's supposed to do. Is there water in there? Where the water feeds back into itself and doesn't get overflowing. Hopefully. Do you have water in you? Yes. Um I think another thing I should do is have a valve. Not the water always flows this way. 
We don't want him backing up into these pipes. Okay. Water flows this way around. To here. And this only lets a certain amount through. Hope that will work. I hope that'll work. Currently it's going. It's gonna take a bit to, you know, fully spin up. But we should have aluminum. We have aluminum. Beautimus. And it's gonna start sinking the extra aluminum right now, and that's annoying, but fine. Uh, we need to get a train station set up now. So, I can have a train come off of that loop, come right here, and then rejoin the loop over there. Let's just make our train station right here. Got plenty of room. Um... You're missing the middle step. I have six refineries, but only three outputs. Uh, you're missing the middle step. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully you figured out what your question was, though. Because uh, I don't quite understand the question. Okay, how's that look? That looks good. Yeah, there's only three... Uh, there's only three refineries. There's six in total. One, two, three, four. Uh, there's six refineries in total. Uh, for what we're currently doing. And to be honest, we actually don't have enough bauxite currently. My setup is for 600 bauxite. But I can't transport, transport 600 out of a single mine yet. So uh, after I get my, my next... My aluminum logistics thing unlocked, which is what I'm going to do next. Uh, I will be at aluminum loading station. Uh, load station. Okay. And let me plug this in first so that I can start getting the... Uh, getting the aluminum into here. Yeah, it's bauxite plus water gives you the sloppy aluminum. Uh, actually, I could have this pull. I don't want to pull this off. Yeah, I don't want it to run into that. So, uh, bauxite into the sloppy aluminum, and then the sloppy aluminum into gives you the aluminum solution, and the uh, then you the aluminum solution plus coal creates water plus aluminum scrap, and then you smelt the aluminum scrap. It's, it's, aluminum is a very overly complicated build, to be honest. It's kind of, I don't know if it's like that in real life. I'm going to guess it probably is. Because it seems like it would kind of make sense if it was. All right, we're a little above here, so let's go down. I feel like I've heard that aluminum is not a straightforward process to process. Um, yeah, perfect. Beautiful. That's what I want. Uh, you were missing the sloppy part. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's a little sloppy. There's, there's my pun for the day. There's my terrible pun for the day. I don't know why it's called sloppy aluminum. I don't know why. Maybe there's a real life reason for sloppy aluminum name. I don't, I really have no idea. Let's plug this in. Ooh, does that just fit right here? Almost, not quite though. I'm 
not sure why that block signal. Um, I'm actually gonna. I, I do want an extra block signal here. Okay, that's good. And then I want a block signal here. Uh, actually, watch this. Where I place my signals, I think. But yeah, um, for those who are wondering who. Uh, who have played this game or are interested or might get into it. Uh, I'm doing, I'm using two alternate recipes for my aluminum build. Uh, the sloppy aluminum is the original recipe that's the bauxite into the solution. And then I'm using an alternate smelting, which is um, pure aluminum smelting. All right, let me go place the uh, the block signal at the beginning of this thing, and that should be good. Sloppy just sounds gross. <laughs> it just sounds good. Sloppy Joe, sloppy, sloppy Joe, as um, Adam Sandler would say. All right, I might have that. Just fine because I have to set up. The rest of these up here before it's before the block signals are uh, set up correctly. Currently, I'm just sinking a bunch of aluminum bars, which is not really what I want to do. But gotta set up. Good. Get up all the storage set up yet. There go. There go. And now, does this have power? This is load station. That's good. So it must have power. Um, let me get just a little more done before I can plug all this in. There. Railway that goes out so I can set up block signals at the station. There. And there. And now, actually, get this aluminum and start loading into the station. Splitter there. There we go. Aluminum delivered. <laughs> Signed, sealed, and delivered aluminum. I'll have to get the train set up, but... Oh, this was back... In oh, my smart splitter didn't work because I didn't set it up. Right. Overflow. Crap. Uh, actually, that's not right. Uh, on left overflow. So, I might... I might have an issue, actually. 
I might have an issue that my aluminum got backed up, so my water might got a back aluminum scrap might have got backed up, my water might have got backed up. Let's go check. Go check what's happened with our water. Our water is backed up here. And that's that's the issue. Uh, I can do a quick fix of that issue by flushing this, I think. Um Because, like, all of this water is probably backed up now, which is the issue I want to avoid, is the water getting backed up. So I think flushing the water... Ah, uh, full... Uh, let's do... I don't know about the full pipe network flushing. That might... You know what? I am going to do that. Full pipe network flush. That will hopefully fix any water issues. Yeah, so that water is now all empty. That's empty. This thing was empty. But I think that should allow all of the water that was backed up in here to now be out. There. And hopefully now that my... Uh, it's water. Okay. This water to empty is what I need. I need all of this water to be empty. Full pipe now. Flush. All that water to be out of here. There we go. Hopefully everything kicks back on now that I've flushed the water. I want to see green lights everywhere. You guys have the same issue with your water backed up? Now you're not just getting the aluminum solution because of the water issue, which will refill back up slowly. Okay. I think... I think what I just did, strangely enough, I'm surprised this water... I guess when you flush the entire network... See, there's too much water in these pipes right here, I think. Because if this water backs up, the water over here backs up. And this water backing up is the problem. Hopefully it'll be okay. <laughs> I might have to come back and keep check monitoring this. Because this thing should only be allowing 240 through a minute. I'm hoping my valving and sinking that I did will stop any more water issues. Don't forget to flush the toilets. <laughs> my porta potty, my porta potties. You're right. I better not forget to flush those porta potties. Right, because if this water backs up, my aluminum scrap can't be made anymore, and that's that's the issue that you run into with aluminum. See, like this water is getting backed up again. It would help if my pipes were connected. There we go. Well, that's your that's the problem right there. Somehow I disconnected a pipe. Okay. All right. Hopefully that fixes that issue. A missing pipe can be an issue. Beautiful. No water stuck in there. Let's make sure all of our pipes are all connected here. So a missing pipe. Now this water is full. This is full. And this is what I don't want to get full is this these 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 pipes here. When those get full, that's bad. So I'm going to flush this pipe segment. flush the toilets, as, as, as you so succinctly said. A couple more flushes ought to do it. <laughs> that's, that's what the, you know, that's what the plumber told me. This, this, this getting full is bad. These things getting full is bad, because then... Man, pipe overflowing stuff is such a pain. I think I'm going to do a full pipe network flush again because I had that missing pipe segment. Flush the entire thing again. Hopefully resetting it will fix it. Hopefully, because I was missing that pipe, I feel like that was messing something up. Got to sink that turd somehow. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You ain't wrong. 
You ain't wrong. Yeah. <laughs> That stopped this for a bit. Yes, it did. It stopped that for a bit. Hopefully, flushing it... I know I'm kind of babysitting this right now. I I don't want my aluminum to get backed up because my water is getting backed up. Yeah, my valves are all facing the right way. It's all flowing the right direction. I'll show you. This valve is facing to the right. You can see kind of this arrow. This black arrow means it's facing to the right. Um, this guy is facing down. And it's only allowing 240 a minute to supplement what should be coming in from the back side. So, I think what I might want to do is... Watch this one. I feel like it's not fully flushing this. I wonder if maybe having this call it fluid buffer is actually bad have i sacrificed a suckling calf to the great poseidon not yet is these these pipes being full i think are an issue these pipes being full i think will become an issue because if those pipes are full these pipes fill up and these pipes fill up and we have no output for these pipes to empty into I really wish there was a, a, a liquid sink. That's, that's, I wish there was a liquid sink. And that's why I think Gunther, somebody you watched, talked about probably using um, uh, wet concrete to sink the water, basically. I think what I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go complete my station for the aluminum delivery, and I'm gonna come back and check if it's backed up. And if it's backed up, then I'm probably gonna have to go use one random piece of concrete somewhere and, and create a concrete sink, because uh, that's we really need, we really need to not get backed up. So, all right, let's get the uh, train finished here. We can come back and check on this. We're at least building up a bunch of uh, we're building up a bunch of aluminum right now, which is good. That'll that'll help us for our future projects. What we need to be getting done. I just want it to be sustainable and not get backed up because of liquid overflow issues which can often be the case with aluminum I've found in the past oh god spider did you land on my metal okay I don't even know where you attacked me from oh god from below oh crap you are on my freaking giant alien spiders You flying away? Okay, hopefully that means it's flying away. Go away. Nobody likes you, spiders. Frickin' giant alien spiders. Frickin' giant alien spiders. Nice. Follow me, bro. Don't follow me. That'll be the right height. Let's see if that's right. Oh, come on. Just, just build the front, you piece of... Just, ah, freaking autosave. Okay, uh, it looks like... No, it's not quite right. All that good. It's actually not perfectly lined up somehow, even though I'm using the global grid. It's fine. It's fine. Right about 
there. Connecting train tracks, my favorite pastime. There. There, and then we want to connect this. All right, there. There. Seeing the lag that I sometimes deal with here. Uh, true long, really? There's something I can connect to. There. Does that work? I think that works. And then we set up a block signal right at the end there. And that should be good to go uh, once I get this finally connected. Have I sacrificed? Okay. Uh, with the pipes underneath the machines, the full underground pipe has to fill up first before squeeze the machines, whether it'll settle itself out and work out or no. You had yours flush on machine level. Hmm. I think you're talking about the fact that I have my pipes go down and then back up. My issue with having them go straight across is I can't feed in my uh, bauxite from the back very smoothly, but you might be right in that I got to adjust something about that because of the whole, whole liquid and gravity situation. Might be right that I need to do something about that. But I'll be able to go check on it after I get my first aluminum delivery set up, hopefully. Looked like the control valve needed to be placed after the buffer and after the overflow pipe. Control valve. Control valve was placed after the buffer. But it might not be placed after the overflow pipe. So I'll have to see what you mean by after the overflow pipe. I'm not sure if I understand that. There it is. You're all hooked up now. So let's get a train for this. Did I set up an aluminum station? I think I did. I think this new one over here is aluminum depot. Yes. I think I plugged it in. Um, we're about to find out, though. Uh, is that forward? I think that's forward. One. Two. Four. All right, and we go aluminum train one. We want it to go to the aluminum load station and then the depot save and make sure this is on load. We should be on load. I haven't set up unload on the other train station, which I need to do. Okay. Turn on. See if he's going to do his thing. So I'm not sure if I completed the loop back at the base. As long as this starts loading, I'm going to run back home. Run home, Jack. Um, and make sure we're set up on unload on the aluminum station. We are loading. Beautiful. Okay. So that should be able to get to the other station. And I should see overflow. Good. We have overflow being synced, so it shouldn't back up because of the aluminum backing up anymore. So this should not cause any more backup. So that's good. It's flowing right now, which is good. I'll come back to check the water overflow in a bit. I want to make sure my delivery station is correctly calibrated. Uh, you've had your you had yours flush on the ground and never had any issues. A lot of people say the easiest way to get rid of it is in a coal power plant. Okay, sounds like there's a couple different ways we could do it. Yeah, we have coal being supplied, so having an overflow of coal in a power plant and just sinking into power sounds like a thing you could do. Um, 
Gunther said something about using wet concrete as a way to flush out the water, so... I will go look at my options after I make sure we have the delivery set to unload correctly. Our aluminum depot. Actually, I think I do have this all set up right, unless this is... Yeah, unload. That's what I just gotta do. Two... Three, four. Okay. As long as this is all set up correctly, I should have my first load of aluminum incoming. Um, there it is. Let's 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 watch the train. Make sure it comes in the station correctly. I have a feeling I might have a lot of bottlenecks for my trains, but let's see if the train gets stopped anywhere. As long as this train does not stop this train. Alright, it's looking good. Looking like it's going to come on into the station. One mega train yard? It is. I'm very happy about it. I'm very happy, and I and it's expandable. And they're all... Everything's running. The only train that's not running is my coal train, my John Coal train, and that's because I don't have coal being picked up from anywhere. It's being delivered by belt. That should be my aluminum train that I just set up. I want to make sure it delivers its load correctly. Beautiful. The first train we brought over here. Make sure everything is getting unloaded. And then I'm going to unlock tier 6 belts. Tier 5 belts. And then I'm going to go check back on my aluminum thing to make sure the water's not getting backed up. I have a feeling it probably is getting backed up. I have a feeling it's probably going to be an issue. All right, all four unloading. Finally clearing out some inventory space is good. Did I just call my coal train the coal train? I didn't. I should, though. <laughs> Physics, who even cares? It goes right through that thing there. Okay. Pull some aluminum from the back. Are you moving out to get some more? Beautiful. I'm going to do a take all. I can't take all. I can control quick, though. There. I take a bunch of aluminum. I'm going to put some of it into my dimensional depot. I think I have room for three stacks. I'm going to manually make what I need for the next level of... What is it called? The milestone? The logistics milestone? Manual make the 200 sheets that I actually probably have 200. I think I have like 600, so I think I could have done this before. Uh, yes, so. 200 there. There we go. Logistics Mark 5. Bye bye -yum. Milestone reached. Fix it dedicated this milestone to the conveyor belt and lift Mark 5. They may be implying that your factory could be further optimized. While they are correct, I believe they are setting unreasonable expectations. Having all of humanity very definitely relying on your work is a lot of pressure. It's a good thing I'm here. Yeah, good thing you're here, Ada. Okay, so these do 780 a minute. I thought these only did 600. Okay, well that's a huge upgrade, which I'm going to be using that a lot. You love Mark V belts? They're so cheap in comparison for Mark IV. No kidding. And I can basically do this one right now. Oh, uh, the hover pack. I just can't do it until stuff comes back. So select that miles. Oh, wait. Can I actually? No, I can't until the thing gets back. Okay. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go upgrade the belts for my steel factory that I was saying last time weren't fast enough because my steel beams were um, not being produced fast enough because the steel was not getting to them fast enough. So that's my first... My first goal right now is upgrade. Hold on a sec, let me get uh, on my bar the Mark V, these guys there, and threes there. It looks like they've backed up again, which is a good thing, but once when my um, phase four items were being made, 
and I was using a lot of steel, uh, they weren't making fast enough. So upgrading these belts is a good upgrade right now. I think it's being bottlenecked by something else that I'll check in a second. Go. What is bottlenecking this? This is a Mark III right here. Okay. There it is. There it is. Okay. Is that the same thing right here? Yeah. There we go. Now, I don't think my steel beams need as many upgrades inside, but I might as well upgrade the belts because it's quick and easy. Uh, although, I don't have a ton of the Alcat aluminum, Alcat aluminum sheets, so... Uh, and I want to use this upgrade back at my aluminum setup, too. Yeah, this guy's backed up because my steel, beam, uh, steel pipes are backed up, so... If I do want to upgrade all of these... Go. Uh, full belts are he happy belts. Full and fast belts are totally super. A hundred percent agreed, Flurchin. A hundred percent. All right, let's go check. Now that I did all that, we got aluminum coming into our base. I'm gonna want to set up some aluminum factories for making these um, sheets. But we need to make sure our water is good because the water backing up is gonna be our bottleneck, and that's what I need to avoid. And Gunther said something about control valve needs to be placed after the buffer and after the overflow pipe. So let's see what we're looking at. What I'm worried about is this long pipe right here being full. If this is full, I think we have a problem. So I think we might have a problem. And the problem will become these guys backing up and being full of water. Currently, they're not. Are these pipes filling up? I'm. What I want it. I want there to become a balance. That's what I want to happen. I want there to be a balance because the awkward thing is creating the aluminum scrap gives you a water byproduct that I am recycling back in a circle to the water that this needs. And currently, this isn't getting enough water, interestingly enough. Now, that's weird. This should be getting too much water. This thing is full. It's flowing at 600 a minute. Honestly, it shouldn't be getting enough bauxite a minute, eventually. I'm surprised it's, that the, it's not getting enough water here. Uh, it has to be full for the water to move. Literally how gravity works. A full underground pipe is how water works. I guess so. It's flowing quickly. This is the valve that's supposed to keep it from getting overflowed. Because... Um, I want you to tell maybe you can critique what I've created here. So, just to explain this. We have three sloppy aluminum refineries that each need 200 water per minute. So 600 water per minute is needed. These are going into these guys that are creating 120 times 3. So there's 360 water a minute byproduct that I'm introducing back into a pipe flowing back into here. So it's 360 plus the 240 to supplement it so we have enough water to get the 600 a minute while recycling this water. I think it should work. I feel like I had an old build that worked like this. This valve makes it so that the water doesn't backflow into this. I want this water to always be going into here. I wish I could prioritize that this water is let through before this supplementary water is let through. And if it's a low flow rate that's good because it's not adding water to the system unless it needs it. Uh, currently, I need to actually upgrade my bauxite belts 
So it does have enough bauxite right now, yes. But I need to actually upgrade my belts. That was the next thing I was going to do. So I can get 600 minute bauxite. So I'm going to do that upgrade right now. Hopefully I have enough of these alclad aluminum sheets to do this. But that was a good reminder to do. So there. That should be 600 a minute. Because I fully overclocked this to 600. And it's all tier 5 belts that allow it to run at 7... 780? 780 a minute. So yes, it should have enough bauxite to be running 100% of the time. It only will work if it stays at 100%, otherwise the 240 valve in the supply will let in too much water. And that's... I think what I might need to do is this pipe... I think I need to shut this valve down to zero until this pipe empties. Because once this pipe empties, then the overflow will not be backed up. And that's the worry. The worry is the overflow is backed up. So if I let no new water into the system until this overflow empties, I think I'm good. This is the overflow pipe. This pipe right here connects to the overflow, which is the byproduct of the water from the aluminum scrap. So I need the overflow to not be backed up, which is why I want all of this to empty out. And I have a valve here to make sure it doesn't flow back into this pipe, that it all only flows this direction. If you let that run for 10 minutes, the overflow might not run into the machines because it's lower than the machines. Uh, you think this water won't flow into there because the machines up there are at the same level? You know what, just to be safe, I want to put a I want to put a pump. It should be fine, right? Because the 10 meter head lift. This pipe being full, I'm worried about. Okay, it's emptying. I feel like this pipe is emptying. I think, I hope anyway. You get head lift problems when the pipe's not totally full. Oh, really? Do you think it's best if I put a pump back there? This is all backed up. Why are you backed up? Because you don't have enough water right now. I feel like I need to put a pump, actually, because I think you might be right that we're, we're having head lift problems right now. Um, I think we are having head lift problems. I think a Mark 1 pipe should be fine though, right? Because it doesn't have to go anywhere. It doesn't have to go up very far. Put a pipe here. I'm gonna do that. Put a pump and see if that fixes the current issue of pumping the pipe up, the water up into here. Say the pipe underneath holds 200 liters. If the system only has 250 liters of water, only 50 liters will go up. Okay. Pump won't lift water from a no-fill pipe to an empty pipe, if that makes sense. A pump only lifts. It doesn't move. Well, I was wanting it... It, it should lift, though, right? It should lift into these pipes. That, that pump I just added should make the water lift into these pipes, which is what's backing this up, I think. It won't move water from A to B if A isn't full. Okay. So it sounds like what you're saying is I need my overflow to even be full. I wonder if maybe I should move that pump. I guess the... the the thing is, 
whichever pipe I'm most worried about overflowing is where the pump needs to be. Because we want the pump to be on a full pipe. You think I should open back up the 240 valve? I probably should. Because I think we're, we're not introducing enough water into the system right now. Even though I'm worried about this pipe being full. I almost wonder if this pipe right here is where I should put the pump. Although I probably a short pipe that is always full is where I want to pump it. Which... In theory, what I have works fine. In your mind, the only potential issue is the pipe height. It should be fine with the 245. Okay. Well, I'm going to open this back up to 240 and hope... Uh, that fixes any issues. Because I think currently we're just not getting enough water. Fast enough. There. Now, with the 240... It should do its thing. Check how these other guys are doing. Yeah, it's definitely a not enough water in the system issue and liquid pumping issues. Yeah, I think I'll have to leave it and come back to it and just come back and see if it's avoiding the issue I'm worried about, which is the water getting backed up in these machines. Which is not happening right now. But that's because I kind of overcompensated. I overcompensated by uh, reducing the amount of water in the system. Might not make for good streaming. You found the fix-it plumbing manual to be very helpful, huh? Okay. I might I might look at that. Once the system is fully at 100%, it should be totally balanced. It's keeping, it's keeping it balanced as it ramps to 100% is the hard part. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to let it run. Um... I don't know why these things are all green now. Uh, maybe that means I'm mining from them. I don't actually know what all that means. That just happens sometimes. By the way, I saw on the Red the Satisfactory Reddit that the issue I was having with what was it? Um, the customizer where patterns were just appearing on the ground. A bunch of people were having that issue. Where the patterns were would appear even when you weren't clicking to put them. So, if I find that it backs up, I can drag the water in the machines into the delete slot like you can with the inventory items. I was flushing the pipes, but I didn't try the deleting. Okay. We'll come back and check on it maybe in an hour. It's almost break time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the initial setup for figuring out our first factory, which is going to be... The aluminum... She threw a rock over here. Aluminum... Uh... Sheets. That's the first one we need. Did that guy follow me? Oh, no. There's guys underneath, I think. So let me go figure out. I'm going to be placing... I think right here is where I'm going to be placing this. Um... Maybe I start at the corner, because this I want to leave room for expansion. Although I can always go up for expansion, so... Actually, I think I might plan for this to be expanded up if needed. I think I do want this one. I might want to do two factories here. Check something. Production, assembler... Alclad aluminum sheets. Aluminum and copper. This is going to be one of the first places where I have two raw materials I got to deliver. So I might, I'm probably going to need two trucks for this. What's the other recipe for aluminum? I think it's just a constructor, actually. Yeah, aluminum casings. 90 a minute. Make 60 a minute. That one's much easier. Do I have room to do both a constructor and uh, assembler factory? I think I do. I think I might actually start with the casings because they're easier. I can do the delivery of the aluminum 
and then I have a second delivery of copper and have two factories right next to each other. I think that's what I'm going to do here. Green icons happen if you select the resource in your inventory and then open the map. Oh, is that what causes that? Interesting. Okay. The Randy Man can. Because he mixes it with love. Yes, yes. Charlie on the choc chocolate factory discussion. Carrying over, I guess. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to want two different truck offloading stations here for two different factories. Okay. You never figured that out? You just thought the green highlighting was a bug, huh? Well, let's test it. So what was I highlighting in my... Like if I'm highlighting aluminum ingots and then press M. Now there's some green truck stations highlighted. Hmm. What about if I'm highlighting uh, aluminum s steel beams and press M? Huh. Does it have to be, I wonder if it has to be the, the raw material or something, because, I don't know, you know uh, like steel ingots. If I highlight that M, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird mechanic. I don't care that much. <laughs> Alright, so I need enough room for two truck stations. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'll have copper, then aluminum, have my aluminum alclad sheets, and then the aluminum casings or whatever they're called. Let's do it that way. Two truck stations. that. This will be the copper delivery station. How's that look? That looks good. Better spacing. Yeah, we'll do a two, a two wide area there. Bam, bam. Uh, try bauxite or iron ore. I actually don't have any. Uh, do I have any bauxite just on me? There we go. If I do this, tab, hold mouse over and press M. Why is it doing nitrogen, sulfur, uranium, coal, Coal I can understand. Quartz I don't understand. And the geyser? I'm, I don't know. <laughs> Seems buggy to me. I'll be honest. Like uh, I watch FTL says, perfect feature. Totally not buggy at all. That totally seems buggy. <laughs> that absolutely seems buggy. Alright, so maybe I leave a two space. And then place this right here. There. You swear it used to work, you used it. Okay, well, maybe my game's bugged or something, because it definitely doesn't look right. <laughs> it doesn't look right to me. Okay, that should be good. That should give enough space for uh, uh, copper here, aluminum there, aluminum delivered to a factory there, and a factory there. I can use uh, only one delivery thing. I hope the... Uh, Little bugs aren't here. Good. I need to cut down some trees here. I believe that you used it, Forkshin, and I believe that it worked when you used it, but I have a feeling... It might be one of those things that every patch they do something, it breaks it. Because it feel like I've been feeling... It feels like a lot of things have broken with recent patches. Or if not broken, but like... But like, um, my voice cracks. Not 
been working as intended or something. Alright. Customizer pattern. This guy, one, two. Customizer color. This guy, one, two. Alright, there we go. Trying to randomly highlighted train stations, your own marks. That's why you never figured out what it was meant to be. There's no room for imperfection in the sadist factory and the glory of Rand. Okay, alright. about break time. So, let me mark these stations and then I'm going to set up delivery to these stations. So this is going to be an unload. This is going to be Alclad aluminum sheets copper. So, Alclad copper Truck unload. That's what that's going to be. And this is going to be Al clad aluminum truck unload. So that's what those two stations are going to be. Uh, I still have to set up my truck factory to, to, to receive the aluminum. So, let me go to a place with a nice view of all of our spaghetti belts here uh, and trucks as we take our first break. And we're going to say, GG cookie time. We have aluminum. I got to get it places. But for now, y'all can look at this lovely, <laughs> the junction, I say with terror. And uh, you can enjoy the trucks go by or the horrible number of materials just sitting on belts. And when we come back, uh, we will actually get our aluminum delivered where it needs to go and make some outclad aluminum sheets and stuff. So y'all rock. See you in just a bit, my friends.